Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why... Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Athen. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scow like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. More Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time on you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches.
I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Your slaves have been detained for their safety. Though if that is how you treat them, I imagine they would prefer cells to your company. But you have not answered my question. Why are you here? The Order and you parted ways long ago, and the Order was the better for it. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hawk. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Necessary? The destruction of Paragus was necessary? You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. There are no more Jedi, except I. Like you, they turned from the Order, and now only I remain. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove him, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy, and the feelings of others, can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired, I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here.
I have felt it too, my lord. A disturbance in the force. It was difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it. But now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly. Yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel it is a... You... You are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord. All life exists to feed your power and my life. My life is yours. I beg you, please, let me die. Yes, this disturbance echoes through the Force. I can follow it to its source and bring it to you. I will leave at once, my lord. Why have you approached me? You may ask... The mistress? What of her? She is meditating, and she does not wish... She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order, and through them, the galaxy. We serve the Jedi. We do not question them. Yet. Atris has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild. She faults the teaching of many of the Jedi Masters as the spark of the Jedi Civil War. Atris has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed in the ways of the Jedi, they never would have fallen, and nor would you exile. That is unknown to me. Atris has chosen instead to focus her efforts on galactic recovery. She predicted you would say as much. She seems to know you quite well. Perhaps you are the one who... I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles. Very well. Follow me. And we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us, a test of each other's strength. Then let us begin. You have 
have succeeded. If you wish, you may check. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight. Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. <gasps> I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can, and more importantly, they can distract you. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are, yet there are no students. And this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are... This discipline blinds them to the Force as well. Invade the mind of another? It is not something... Plans are fragile things, and perhaps students will come to her in time. Very well. Let us depart. <sighs> I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I will, General. What is this place? This must be where I had detected the edits room. This place? It looks... Of course, General. Very well, General. I...
Have you returned to fight again? Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon you wish, but use no other items or Jedi techniques. Then let us be... You have succeeded. If you wish, you may challenge us again and we seek one of us out. Have you returned to fight again? Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items. And you may use whatever technique, Jedi or otherwise, you wish to attempt to defeat me. In turn, I will spare none of our forms against you. Then let us begin. You know much of melee combat. You surprise me. There is nothing more that we can teach you from such contests. Such battle would only be for battle's sake. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor it. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair, using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item, weapon... Seek one... The exile. The she said you betrayed the Jedi by going. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march. I believe that is the extent of her expressed. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say battle is a pure... Perhaps, in battle, before you go...
Then tell me of its absence. It is standing atop the summit of a great mountain, the winds tearing about you, then finding yourself buried alive, trapped, helpless, and alone. It is like having the energy of youth, then feeling the cloak of years fall upon you, and knowing you are weak, fragile, and a thing easily discarded. It is knowing what you want to say and never finding the words. It is a chorus replaced with silence. It is like a beloved pupil. I see. Thank you. Have you returned to fight again? There is nothing more. If that is what you wish, I can use what Then let... was correct about you. You know much of war and battle. Perhaps too much. One does not sweat in the polar regions of Telos, so all that will break will be your pride. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Use any item, any weapon, any technique you wish. You will need them. There is no need for the last of us to join in this fight. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish our techniques. We fight as one when we are five, not six. And that number should be enough for this lesson. You have returned. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. I do not wish to discuss it. If there is something else you wish to ask, you may do so. There is no need to apologize. You were... You may... Then our last battle very well.
There shall be no more matches, no more challenges. There is much we have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be prepared. Why have you approached me? Do all these women look alike? <laughs> they are Ichani. It is not unusual. If you have a reason for a... Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris... You may... We serve the Jedi, and we watch. Atris is the only Jedi here. This is true. You are no Jedi. Atris has made that clear. When you went to war, you gave up the mantle of the Jedi and became something else. Why have you approached me? You may... We serve the Jedi, and we watch. You... We share the same father, and we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. As I have said, it is not... If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. I tolerate your presence only upon orders of the Mistress. She did not order me to endure your questions. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious. Very well. Follow me. There shall be no more matches. No more challenges. There is much we have learned from... Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug. Don't be a fool. Says you.
Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me, but I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her if we can, but we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted, and isolation from it would have been no defense.
Well, now that we're off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. Is the machine we seem to have found it do you know why we have called you here As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Refuse to hear us, you have shut us out, and so have shut yourself to the galaxy. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor V will only happen in time, and it cannot happen here, near the battlegrounds where you fought. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. defiance in that one. You are correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there, more like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared, and I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they?
A strange. It is no coincidence. There is, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Sister, you and yours are the threat. If it comforts you to believe that, then so be it. But the enemies you face are many, and you will need all the help you can get. It is just me, and I am doing this against Atris's wishes, and those of my sisters. We cannot go back. The defense screens around the Telos Academy may have allowed your shuttle through once, but they will not let it. I possess the codes for deact- I tire of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough, I assure you. It is no matter. I am, but thank you for your kindness. General. Is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I don't know. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you, and if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. For the last time, no. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first, and nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards, I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Yeah? How many credits? All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality.
Thanks for the vote of confidence. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. <laughs> 